In this video, we will look to how we can set the size of a TK into window. When this program executes, we will get a TK into window as you can see here. It has an icon, a minimize, a maximize, and if you click here, the window will shut down. We can also come to the side here and drag the width of the window to resize it and I can take it back. You can also come to here and grab it by the corner and resize it and you can come here and you can resize it. So you can do with this window what you can do with any window. What I'd like to point out now I've resized it, you can see this title comes into view which is TK and these are the defaults that you get when you use TK Inter. But what you can see with these three lines of code you get a fully functioning window as you can see here. We've considered these program statements in previous videos. In this video I'm going to concentrate on this program statement. When this program executes, what we're going to see is the following. We're going to get a TK into window. Object orientated terminology will indicate that this program statement is a message to this window that will invoke this method and this is the argument that's passed to the method. It is clear because of the quote that the argument is a string. Because of the argument the window will appear as shown here and we can see that the 300 has set the width of the window and the 200 has set the height of the window. So we we can see that invoking this method and passing in the argument sets the dimension for the TK into window. Quotes, height, width, we also need this X. Pause the video, note down this exercise and have a go at completing it. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.